What's going on everyone and welcome to the second video in the Update 19 mini-series. I'm your willing slave, Baus Phoenix, and today we're going to clear up some confusion about how the new Void works and how you'll be farming for Prime Parts in Update 19. Before that though, I want to take a few seconds to thank Origin Impulse for the kind words and the awesome gift he sent me earlier. If you're watching, I appreciate you being here, man, and I appreciate all of you for helping this channel grow so quickly. Let's get started. Alrighty folks, we're gonna jump right in on this one, so buckle up. In the video before this one, we covered the new star map, and in that video we touched a little bit on the fact that the void is no longer the place we farm for prime parts. Instead, you'll now have a chance to get prime parts in special missions where void fissures are located. These void fisher missions are essentially your different tower missions, and as such, there are four tiers of missions, so to speak. You have the Lith, which are Tower 1, Meso, which are Tower 2, Neo is your Tower 3, and Axie is your Tower 4. Each of these names are basically, for lore purposes, the name of a different era in Orican history, and the rewards you get are tied to that era. These missions are accessed from the star map by clicking this drop-down menu and selecting the icon that looks like the marker from the Dead Space series. Before you can embark on a Void Fisher mission, though, there are a few things you'll need to do. Take my hand, salty child. Uncle Baus will show you the way. The first thing you'll need to do is collect the Void Relic segment by completing the Mars Junction found on Earth. Once you've defeated the Guardian for the Mars Junction, you'll be rewarded with the Void Relic segment that you then plug into this console that's been sneakily tucked away in the corner of your ship. Once you've done that and activated the console, you'll be met with a whole new wave of confusion. You're probably asking questions by now like, where are my Void Keys? What are these relic things and why is Bao so damn handsome? Well, allow me to break it down for you. Remember the eras we talked about a minute ago, the Meso, Lith, and so on? Well, now any tower keys you may have had in your inventory have been converted into void relics. You'll need these relics to go on Void Fisher alert missions, and as far as I know, you just farm these like you would tower keys. You can also purchase them from your syndicates for standing. Each relic corresponds to the type of mission you can go on. For instance, Lith relics will gain you access to Lith missions, and so on. Furthermore, if you click each relic, you'll notice that off to the side, you have a little drop table. This is showing you every reward you could get from using that relic in a Fisher mission. The little blue bar to the right of the reward is showing you how likely you are to receive that reward. Here's the cool thing though. You can use Void Traces, which are gained as a random drop in Fisher missions, to increase the drop chance of the rare rewards, essentially mitigating RNG. Now, we could probably write a book on the implications this will have on the trading market, but I'll leave that to you guys in the comments. I'm just here to help you all understand this new system. Moving on, once you've got your Void Relic segment and some Void Relics, you're set to embark on your first Void Fisher mission. Simply select the Void Fisher alert you want to go to and choose which relic you'd like to expend. Your teammates can also choose their own relics for a more varied reward table. Now, this should be obvious, but note that the relic you choose will be consumed upon completing the mission. The Void Fisher alerts play out like regular missions. For example, this is a mobile defense. During the course of the mission, you'll run across the Void Fisher, which is this shimmering yellow crack of energy floating in the air. By approaching it, you'll be prompted to take an action that activates it. Be prepared because when you do this, all hell breaks breaks loose. When activated, the Fisher will start to spawn corrupted faction enemies, and you'll have to kill them for these little yellow orbs called Reactant that you then take to the Fisher. Throw enough Reactant into the Fisher, and it seals, leaving you with a random reward from your Relic's drop table. It's important that you do not leave the mission at this point. You'll have to finish whatever mission you started to gain your reward, and you'll want to do this anyway because the normal mobs on the map will drop the void traces that you'll want to refine your relics. Finally, when you complete your mission, you'll be given the chance to choose your reward. If anyone is in your group, you'll be able to choose one of their rewards if it's better than yours. Everyone gets the same item though, so don't worry about screwing anyone over. And I think that about covers it. Hopefully this video helped alleviate any confusion you had about how this new system works. I'm pretty sure I covered everything you needed to know, but if I missed anything, feel free to ask your questions in the comments. If this video helped you, or you just enjoyed watching it, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Lastly, if you're new here, consider joining the legions of people that are somehow finding my channel lately by subscribing. It's free, and the more subscribers I have, the more sacrifices I have for the YouTube god that increases my YouTube fame. Anyways, folks, I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.